What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Fresh and Baked Props. As always, I am Tony. Uh, recently, I went to Ollie's and I was just fucking around looking to see what I can buy. And I found one of these He-Man vehicles. Um, it's supposed to scale to the retro guys, but these seven inch guys fit in there pretty good. I had He-Man in there recently and now I just put Man at Arms in there because it's the same colors as him. So I said, fuck him, why don't I just make this a vehicle for him? Uh, I didn't like some of the details, it was just stickers. But I remember as a kid, that's how it was. So I think that's what it is. Um, it had these little details on the front and uh, this guy on the back. I took the stickers off, obviously, and I put them on some cardstock and peeled it off so that I can make templates. And then I cut it out on styrene to uh, two levels. So it's gonna layer on top of each other. So it's gonna have this, and then this is gonna go on top of it to give some detail. Um, I don't like the yellow and green, so I'm gonna paint it gold and silver. We we'll keep it green, but a lot of the detail on it isn't really painted. So I'm gonna paint it silver and gold and since instead of yellow, I'm gonna paint the sides gold. And I don't really understand the whole anchor thing on the front. So I took the anchor off and I'm gonna repaint it and put it somewhere else. I might mount it back back on, I don't know. But I'm also gonna mount some guns on here, some Fortnite guns that I have that I don't really need and never use. Uh, so I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's just jump in the video and finish this thing off. Okay, so first things first, you're going to need some styrene plastic here. I got this on Amazon for dirt cheap. I'll throw the link in the description below. Uh, these are my templates. I put them on cardstock. Uh, then just trace them on. Cut them out. You're going to have to run uh, the blade through it a couple of times, but it's not that hard to cut. Um, that's what was my biggest worry was working with this, was how hard it was going to be to cut through all, uh, the plastic. But maybe one or two passes with the blade. Press down and you get it here. I'm cutting out the fine details. Be careful with your fingers. You get real close with that blade. Use an X-Acto knife if you got it. Uh, I just needed blades and I finally got them later on in the day. But yeah, yeah, I'm just pulling out all the detail on the wings. And like I said, they just snap right out once you cut them. You don't even have to cut too deep. Just run the blade through it and then the, the plastic could snap right out. And I just use Gorilla Glue, uh, the gel, because it doesn't get everywhere. It'll stay in place and you can just put a couple beads of glue on there and then just match it up on how you had how you want it or whatever it was pretty easy man here i bought this thing on amazon it's i wouldn't buy it it was dog shit i wound up throwing it getting rid of it and just uh using the actual drummel um it, it's not bad for engraving and i'll show you that in a second but in terms of sanding it doesn't go fast enough to sand this stuff uh, uh, good uh here i'm just doing the back detail which was like a bird looking thing so it's the same thing you just draw it as best you can I use double-sided tape for the template and just tape it down and then I just cut it out. I, I drew it and then cut it with X-Acto knife just so I could see everything. Here I'm doing some engraving with that tool. It's not too bad because it goes slow enough to get the details, but it was a mess. Here I just took the blade it came with. Be very careful here because it's a rotary blade and I just did the straight lines on the back of wings. Not that hard. And there it is glued on. Came out pretty good. I know it looks like uh, like it's, it's off there, but it's not. It's just the way the line looks on the plastic. But uh, I'm very happy with it. So here I take it outside. I use some adhesion promoter for the paint because the way these plastic things are, I don't really want to sand it. So I just hit it with some adhesion promoter. Make sure it's well ventilated. That's why I'm outside here. Don't leave it outside because it was freezing out here and it'll take forever to dry. So I just put it in the garage and let it dry. Here I use Extreme Flex Paint from uh, Hobby Lobby. It's made by uh, Deco Art. It's usually made for EVA foam for cosplay, but it works here. Same thing with Plaid FX acrylic. That was just for the black wash. Here I'm just putting in the silver detail first. I was I was I put silver under and gold on top. So I did the silver first and all the fine detail with the thin brush. And then went around with all the gold and did the gold secondly and then black washed everything obviously. So this took some time. Obviously take your time with it. The more time you take, the better it's gonna look. Don't rush. Uh, especially when it comes to paint. Paint is one of those things where you have to take your time, so just make sure you go nice and slow. Here, I'm just still getting those fine details. Here, see, uh, there was so many details on this ship that they didn't even touch, and it kind of was like, what the hell? So I went in with the silver and made sure that they all stood out properly. 
Same thing with the vents here. Now I did the rotors too because I felt like those shouldn't be green and the afterburners in the back. I felt like those should all be silver. Look, they should look metal, especially if they're going to be on fire. And now I'm, well, I'm laying in the gold. And that's going to be a couple patches. You're going to have to do two or three coats of, of gold for sure. Now I'm black washing everything. It was just uh, the, the FX plaid uh, black with some uh, water. And just get it nice and, and watery. Not too watery and just brush it in and wipe it off. There you have it. Paint job's pretty much done. I did the same thing for the wings. The wings were yellow. The back wing too and the anchor. Painted it with silver and gold. And there you have it. The aerator. So there you have it, guys. That's the Wind Raider in a nutshell. Um, it's the first time I've ever used styrene plastic, and I will definitely go back to using it. It was much easier to cut than I thought. That's really what the problem was. I thought it was going to be hard to cut. Um, I love the paint job. The gold and green go better together with silver than that disgusting orange they had. I didn't get it. Um, but I understand it's probably just a mold. Um, and this thing was dirt cheap, so whatever. Uh, but... Worth the price, $20 at Ollie's or I'm assuming at other cheaper stores. You can probably find her on Amazon for that same price or whatever. But if you give it a paint job, Man in Arms will fit in there as you saw at the beginning of the video. And it's a pretty cool ride if you need it for action figure photography or if you just want to put it on your shelf because it has the cool base. I haven't painted the base yet. I'm going to paint that on a separate time. I don't really need that for the video. Um, you can do that however you want, obviously. So um, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Um, if you have any suggestions on what you want me to make or what you want me to paint and give a, a new look to, please let me know. Um, please share this stuff, and I would greatly appreciate it. I need to move up in that algorithm. Um, I'm Tony. This has been Freshly Baked Props. And as always, peace.